there's a truth out there in the market right now, and it's unfortunate. It's not really good for many people, particularly people trying to sell a certain type of property. And that's what I'm going to talk about here today because it's it's really tough and there's no more sugarcoating this. It's gotten bad and I don't know how much better it's going to get. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. If you're unfamiliar with the channel, my name's Steve. I sell real estate here in Surrey, BC. And please uh, subscribe to the channel. It really helps out to grow this community, people interested in learning more about real estate and staying up to date on the market. And go ahead and click the like button. Uh, if you agree with this message, I guess, today, I mean, there's not much to agree with. It's a fact of what's going on out there. Um, but give me a click of the like button. It helps me get this message out to more people. And hopefully, maybe one day, uh, this will get to the people in power who can possibly rectify the situation. So like button, appreciate it. Now let's let's hop right into it. Um, the, the condo market is not easy right now. It's not. Uh, particularly in the city of Surrey where I've lived my whole life, uh, we have a downtown area called Wally. Wally is the area where the SkyTrain currently runs. It's where the commuters are. It's where the new to Canada people end up. It's where all the density is. And right now, there's a lot of condos on the market. It's a tough market. I was just selling a property recently, and I think there was something like 116 active listings on the marketplace. And uh, thankfully, we successfully are able to get some of our purchases and sales here together. But it's a struggle. And it's only getting worse. And it's not maybe for the reasons that you think. It's not affordability. Actually, it's actually anything but affordability. It's not because the buildings are bad or even the areas are bad. I mean, yeah, insert your joke about Wally Surrey here. Uh, not necessarily the best area, but it is where so many people here in the city of Surrey live. But the reason it's tough to put a deal together right now is because of the new tenancy laws that have been brought in in British Columbia and how they relate to a purchaser purchasing a property. Now, if a property is tenanted and the purchaser is an investor, which there's not a lot of these days, it's homeowners that are buying right now. If the purchaser is an investor, the tenant stays. So now the, I mean, basically all the investors looking at is potential future growth. How good is the tenant? What is the cost? What are my carrying costs? How much money can I make? You know, what are the rents at today's rents? Are they at old rents? Is that going to devalue the property? They're always looking at it from a financial perspective. Is the property good even? Is, you know, is the property going to cost me repairs in the future? But they're almost entirely out of the market right now. There are not many investors looking to purchase. There's lots of investors looking to sell. Costs of mortgages, everything has gone up. Those investors are looking to get out. So where that leaves us is we have a ton of investor style properties, tenanted properties on the market. And the unfortunate side is with these new eviction laws that, well, the buyers, they are not even considering tenanted properties. The successful condo sales that we've had over the last little while, there's been a couple of tenanted ones, but generally speaking, they are owner-occupied properties. That's for a couple of reasons. First of all, the number one reason is owners, <laughs> renters, feel free to leave me your hate comments down below. Owners take care of their properties better. It's just the way it is. Sorry, they do. These new first-time home buyers, new to Canada buyers, maybe new to BC, coming from Toronto buyers that need to be near that train, that need to commute downtown, that want to be in that community for whatever reason, they have very little or no patience to put up the, with the risk and the timeline in order to buy into a tenanted property. So believe it or not, there's actually lots of buyers that want to buy, but they're saying, nope. I'm not interested in tenanted properties. Now, if you're a savvy buyer and you have the ability to do a very long completion, I mean, I was dealing with one right now where the completion is well into 2025 because of the tenancy. Um, but if you are a savvy buyer and you can put up with a long completion and you're willing to go out there and hammer in offers and find out who's motivated, there is deals out there to be had. They're out there. But believe it or not, I've actually sold a couple of recent owner-occupied condos, not only in Wally, but in some other areas. And having a conversation with the agent for the buyer, they have made it very clear to me 
they're not even showing the tenanted properties. The buyers would actually prefer to pay more to go to an owner-occupied property of which they know what condition it's in, and that condition is usually better, or a vacant property. They're not willing to put up with the rigmarole and the timeline of trying to get a tenant out so they can maybe save 10 or 20,000 bucks. Now that's crazy to me, 10 or 20 grand, even 30 grand, you would figure that that would be worth the headache. Well, the buyers are saying no. And unfortunately, that means if you're a seller or an investor looking to sell a condo in these areas right now, you may be looking at a few different options. You may be looking at cash for keys to get your tenant out so you can sell it vacant. You may wait until the property goes vacant next time and then not put it back in rental stock because you have to get out of it because you're sick of either losing money each month or you just don't want to risk putting another tenant in there. It's tough. And believe it or not, over time, maybe this is what they all wanted. That is going to erode your values. If you're a seller and you're waiting for your tenant to leave, there's a very high likelihood that in today's market with like 28 months of supply, that's four times a buyer's market, by the way, of condos in Surrey or at least in Wally. There's a very, very good chance that that means you're going to sell for even less later on. So it, it's a tough go right now. And unfortunately, it's not because the demand isn't there. It's because the buyers are just saying, I'm not playing that game. So my sympathy is with you sellers out there. I get it. Buyers, if you're willing to put in the work, there are deals out there to be had. You might not get the property in the condition you want because it's been tenanted and the tenant hasn't treated it well. Um, but there are deals out there. Sellers, I know, sorry. You're mad at me for telling you the prices of what you need to sell for. I get it. With all that said, if you are having trouble and you do need help in Surrey trying to sell one of these properties, or if you're looking to take advantage of the opportunity and this timing, and you want to grind out a good deal, well, you can book a call with me right now using the link in the description below at a time that works best for you. Thank you so much for subscribing, clicking the like button. We'll see you in a couple of days.